Hey, this is Zane with Zane's Tech Blog, and today we're going to be talking about the Nest Learning Thermostat. So, I know that uh, many people have already installed these, and there's been a lot of videos about them, but I haven't really had a hands-on uh, chance to take a look and see how they work. Um, and I'm just going to try and figure out if it's right for my house. So, uh, we're going to start with an unboxing, I'll do the install, and then we'll take a look at the final product. Okay, so here we have it brand new in the box. Uh, this is the white version of the Nest Learning Thermostat. And uh, we'll just take a look around. Uh, the back says programs itself, pays for itself. Uh, so hopefully that's going to be the truth. Let me just get the plastic off. Take a look inside. And I'm hoping that the insides um, actually have a little tab here. There we go. A uh, a plate for my wall because with a round thermostat, I feel like I'd have to cover up a big spot. So inside we've got the thermostat. It's got a hard plastic cover on top. Set that to the side. Open this up and take a look. So the first thing we see is our Google safety card and a new app setup. So we'll download the app, add the thermostat, and follow the steps. That sounds pretty easy. In the box, we've got the display, a base, screwdriver, nice, wall screws. Uh, it does come with the trim plate which is great, a steel plate and some steel plate screws. So let's take a look at what that looks like. All right, we've got this piece. Um, looks like it's, I don't know if you can see that real well, but it's got the, um, the wire connectors um, all labeled real nicely on there. A couple of screws, a screwdriver, pop that out. And underneath, we've got our white wall plate, uh, which is the color I selected for the thermostat, which will match up nicely, and our steel wall plate. Um, so that's everything in the box. It looks good. I'm going to go ahead and replace one of my thermostats with this and see how it works. All right, so here I am with the thermostat and I'll be uh, taking that off the wall and putting in the new Nest thermostat. Uh, this is an older Z-Wave model, so it is programmable and I've been able to control it, um, but I'm looking for something a little bit smarter uh, that can kind of uh, self-program, if you will. Um, and I'll be using the included screwdriver that uh, Nest put in the box for me, um, which is really nice because sometimes if you don't have a, a handy tool around with these smaller tips, you can't get in there to um, disconnect the individual wires. So while we've got this open, I'm just going to kind of show you uh, what we're looking at here. Uh, each of the wires is labeled inside the box, and so I'm just going to do a one-to-one -one match connecting up the new thermostat. All right, and so before I go any further, I wanted to uh, show you the opening that I was talking about earlier in the video. So um, looks like it's a single uh, gang box that they used um, in the new construction. Um, and so it's possible that I could get just that uh, smaller uh, steel wall plate on there. So I'm going to try that first, see how it looks. Um, and if it doesn't cover the whole space, then I'll go back and put the, the larger plate on. So. I'll check back in with you here in a minute. So that was a quick little break. Um, what I realized is I had no idea what came next. And so I went ahead and uh, started up the Nest app and took a look in there. And it's basically walking me through step by step, which is really handy. Um, so the next step is to install this guy. We took a look at that a little bit earlier in the video uh, when it was coming out of the box. But I just want to make a point here. On top of this, the screwdriver, which is super handy um, to have, it, this uh, wall plate actually has a little bubble right there at the top uh, that helps you get it all level. And so, you know, this is one of the real reasons that I like Nest products. And I'm gonna be reviewing other ones here on my site 
Um, so you can kind of take a look at the level of detail that goes into uh, not just the functionality once it's installed, but the actual install itself. Um, so I just wanted to point that out real quick. I'm gonna get back to my install um, and just keep you updated as I go through. Okay, at this point, I just wanted to kind of give you a visual of where we're at in the process. So I got the trim on the wall here with the uh, connector for my wires, which are still loose. Um, but I, I wanna point something out that's really pretty nice. Um, so rather than needing the screwdriver to uh, connect these wires, which is always a little bit of a challenge, um, there's just a button that you press down. And when you press it, you can slide the wire in and it connects up very easily. So um, yet another example of just kind of how friendly the Nest products are for installers. So I'm gonna get back to it and give you an update here in a bit. So for all the time that took, I probably could have just left the camera rolling. Um, I'm just gonna give you a closer look at our wiring. Uh, yours may not match this exactly, so don't use this as your guide. Use the app and what it tells you to do. But um, you can see I've got my five wires hooked up um, the way that the app told me to. And uh, yeah, those little buttons that um, the cables fit into, the wires fit into, just makes it super simple. So the next step is to actually attach the thermostat. It's got a small oval connector in the back um, that connects to the wall. I'm just gonna try and pop it on here. Ta-da! All right, um, so I'm gonna see what comes next. Switch the power back on. So I'm gonna go do that up in the attic. Uh, flip the switch back on and we'll take a look and see how it goes. Okay, so I've made it back down from the attic and I've got my device here. It's booted up. I've selected what language I wanna program it in. And the next question it asks is, are you a Nest Pro? And I'm gonna go ahead and say, no, I'm not, uh, since this is the first time I've ever done this. Um, equipment detected, so it looks like it's found what's in my attic. Um, the wires are all showing as connected, uh, so that looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. It says my system is heating, cooling, and fan, which is correct. I'll go ahead and hit next. Uh, fuel source for your heating. So mine is gas, um, but it's got electric, oil, propane also listed. So I'm going to go ahead and hit gas. Uh, type of heating, forced air, in floor, radiators. Mine's forced air. Go ahead and hit next. And then I'm going to go into the Nest app to continue. All right. And so I'm at the same point in my Nest app. I, I've been following along with the install. And so it's um, prompting me for a key to enter. Um, this will give me a key. So I'll go ahead and hit entry key. I'll read it off of there into my app. And press next. Choose the number. Serial number is the same. So I'll go ahead and select that. And it says it's connecting. Oh, that just flipped over. Um, so what happens first is your, your phone connects directly to the Nest device, gives it the information that it needs to then connect to your, um, your home's Wi-Fi network. So that should be what's happening right now. Um, and we'll give it just a minute and I'll come back. Okay, so it looks like um, it's been added to the account. I'm seeing the same thing here on my phone. It says added to my account. So I'll go ahead and hit more. Next, oh, so on the app, it wants me to select what room um, or rooms this is in. And I'll go ahead and hit next there. And then choose my eco temperatures. So this is gonna be when you're away, kind of what's the min and max temp that you want your house to, um, to be at. So I'll go ahead and program that in the app. And go ahead and hit back there, add it to your account. And so it says, which mode uh, should your thermostat use today? And looking outside today, it's, uh, it's a little cool. So I'll go ahead and put it in heating mode. And you're all done. Uh, follow the steps on your thermostat to run a test. So I'm done in the app. I'll come over here to my stat, hit con 
continue and uh, I can run a test. So let's go ahead and do a test. Um, I'm not going to kick on the heat or the, the cooling, but I will test the fan out to see if it works. So it's testing the fan. It says the fan should come on. I hear the fan come on, so that's a good sign. I'm going to go ahead and hit done. It says the fan's been turned off. And the fan's off. All right, excellent. So it looks like uh, the thermostat's installed. It's working. It's operating the equipment. And it was a fairly painless process. Um, it went really quick. If I wasn't videoing it, it would have gone even faster. I'd say no more than 20, 30 minutes tops um, for someone doing it the first time like myself. If you've got some experience. If you have no experience installing anything, um, you can leave it to a professional. There's plenty of people out there that uh, would be happy to come and install it for you. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, seeing how it works over time and seeing if it, it meets my needs. So that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching Zane's Tech Blog. If you wanna see more random tech stuff that I just happen to be doing, uh, hit the subscribe down below. If you are interested in a Nest product for yourself, um, specifically the Nest Learning Thermostat, I'll have a link to that in the description as well. So thanks and see you next time.